Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. I'm Liana with Music Academy International Inc. Uh, uh, welcome back to our part four on the four <laughs> on the Sonata Facile in C major by Mozart and we already to the recapitulation or some other people they're calling re-exposition because the exposition it's coming back those it, it did modulate from c major right now we are in f major and then it's coming with some other stuff in it so uh, do check uh, part number one two and three and especially on the playlist you will find uh, you will find on the tips uh, uh, section and the technique section you will find what is a sonata what is a sonatina, sonata, trios, uh, symphonies and concerto as well. It's an entire tutorial that I dedicate for you to understand exactly the form of the sonata. So let's get going. And again, if you are new to the channel, please like and subscribe because we have many jewelry in our playlist, over 150 videos over there. Okay, so let's get going. So here we are. Right? So nothing is different than into the exposition. I'm not gonna go too much into it. Again, phrase the right hand. So do check the first video, right? Because it's exactly the same thing, just we are in F major. So do, do crescendo on the right hand left hand piano the alberti bass really really piano and you can hold it a little bit the pinky but very close to the keys so do practice that one crescendo and more if you are if you are a beginner beginner intermediate just stay with the triplet or double it or triple it it's all good just whatever level you are and then we having all the scales this time in f major right that's gonna go this i'm gonna just go slow the fingering so as as a reminder so you go when you go up it's a regular fingering one two three coming back is going to be a four but not to the second one number three here because then you're going to have a b flat because f major has the b flat watch it again watch again the fingering that i'm using it all 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 these scales needs to be practiced very crisp and very clean uh start from slow and go faster and faster obviously um uh, do articulate use your fingertip tips <laughs> on it and make crescendo and decrescendo like <laughs> Again, because first of all, it's left hand and it's harder to do scales on the left hand, you know, in fast, in speed. Uh, but on the same time, we have very tricky fingering there. 
Uh, I'm gonna do, I'm gonna show you what I use, not necessarily what you would use, but whatever you choose to use, then practice with those fingers, right? So this is what I use. <laughs> Uh, 
So after you finish this one, start piano here. Crescendo, crescendo in the middle, and then you end in a decrescendo de, de or diminuendo. I'm calling decrescendo because that's how we call it mostly in Romania, where I'm from. We call it crescendo and decrescendo very easily. Uh, it's the same thing, crescendo and diminuendo. So, as you can hear me here, uh, and usually in classical music, you are gonna uh, put the pedal, use the right pedal on the trill for the entire measure. So, one, two, three, and then end nicely in piano, so don't end like that. Oh my god, it's like, <laughs> you hit me with a stone. <laughs> All right, so don't do that. You can make a little accent, which is nice. able to do crescendo, decrescendo, and and, and um, uh, reveal the joy of this beautiful semplice or facile sonata, you know, with all the trills and all the, you know, that um, uh, time, you know, that was so brilliant and so crisp and so fun, and Mozart was so fun and so 
pure so the music it's really uh, really beautiful so uh, do practice this with a metronome i would definitely uh, suggest you to practice this with a metronome from the beginning to the end you're starting maybe at um, 80 85 90 you know um or who knows maybe a moderate or 100 depends and then little by little you increase the speed from the beginning to the end right and you practice the sections that they are challenging for you and you go slower on those uh, but then you attach them to with the other one and make them a uh, steady beat from the beginning to the end and then little by little you just gonna go faster and faster so just don't give up and practice and have fun with it it's a journey and it's a beautiful journey okay so again thank you so much for watching uh, i hope you enjoy it and um, yeah do like and subscribe and check all the other videos that i'm uh, having it over there for master classes as well you can find me on Facebook and Instagram. Um, I do have the uh, same name, uh, Music Academy International Inc., Instagram and uh, Facebook. And I have uh, Master uh, uh, Piano Life with Liana. <laughs> you will have all those descriptions in the um in the uh, in, you will have all the links in the description so please um yeah you can contact me and find me there okay so again thank you so much it's a pleasure to uh, do these videos for you okay see you in the next one and practice